hibernation. Um, is this something that you do? When should you start? How far back do you cut the temperature? I live in Canada, so it gets quite cold here, so I'd be a little leery on shutting the heats off because I'd be afraid that they would freeze. So, um, does anybody have any hints that live in colder climates that um, that they have successfully uh, hiber hibernated the geckos? Um, as you can see, they're quite fat, and the scorpion sure has come a long way. Look at the tail on her. She's, she, her, her body's even filled out. And uh, the scorpion, she's still tiny, but she still looks really healthy. So hibernation. Do you do it? Um, how many months do you do it? Um, do you do it just because you want to stop your uh, geckos from breeding? Because these two girls are not with a male, so they're not really breeding. Um, Savannah had an egg the other day. I'm assuming it was hers because she was the one that was sitting on it. Um, so, should is it important if um, I'm not breeding them so I don't really need to um, stop them from breeding because they're not? Or is this just something naturally that you need to do uh, for winter? Just to, uh, uh, something for their system doesn't need it. So that's my question. Hibernation, yes. Hibernation, no. And if you have any insights on hibernating your leopard geckos, that would be fantastic. So thanks for watching Gecko Land, and I look forward to hearing your comments. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye.